Hey guys, it's been a minute since I did a walk around video of my 1990YJ. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through the things I've done to it since that video. Uh, before I do that, if you hadn't seen my last video, I'll do a quick recap. It is a 1990YJ, four cylinder, AX5 transmission. Hopefully I'll do the AX15 at some point soon. Um, haven't had any issues with it so far, knock on wood. So three inch lift. Um, the last video I had 31s on there. I upgraded to 33, 12 and a half, 15s on a 10 inch wide rim. I really like the look of it. Um, once I air down, go off road, it'll be great contact patch. Um, yeah, it, it, it's awesome. I love it now. So things I've done since then obviously include the 33s, the Poison Spider inner fender liners. Um, the biggest deal for me, those didn't quite line up with the holes in these eBay flat fenders. So, I mean, really the biggest thing I did, I just drilled a couple more holes um, to mount those things and they went together fairly simple. So if you have those fenders, I'd recommend them. I really like them. That way there's no mud getting up in the engine bay and stuff, dirt, whatever, water, super nice. Um, I got new rear brake lines, not rear brake lines, I'm sorry. I need to get those. I got new rear shocks. The shocks I had, obviously when I got this thing, it was completely stock. You can see that in my last video. Um, so I got these rough countries right here. These are stock height rough countries. After I did the lift, going off road, articulation, all that stuff, shocks were severely limiting it. So I did like, I think they're one to three inch lift in the rear and the front. Um, they actually ride pretty good. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how they ride. So, since those are done, I need to get new brake lines, which is why I said that earlier. These are the stock brake lines, as you can see at ride height. They're like, they have, I don't know, an inch or two maybe of down travel. So once I get those, I'll actually be posting my wheeling videos and where we're going up, up in Idaho. I mean, hot springs, cool trails, you name it, right? It's really great. That's why I want to make videos is for that. I do like building stuff, so I will do some more build videos too, if that interests anybody. Um, but for now, we're just doing build videos or walk arounds. I haven't even done a build video yet. So, but that's come down the pipeline. Um, reinforced the bumper, braced it a little bit. Obviously that's a stock bumper. I built that, added onto it. Um, I really like it, winch plate. I'll get a winch here soon as well. Let's see what else. I guess we should talk about the 33s. Got these off Facebook Marketplace. They are Milestar Patagonias. Great tread still. They're awesome. Love them. Um, still messing around with PSI on the road on what I should be running because it's a little rough, obviously. I mean, these YJs aren't built to ride smooth. Um, I will be building rock sliders here soon, but before I do that, I'm going to cut out that rust and patch that. Big deal with this is um, the stock fender flares, those plastic fender flares, they would come down and they bolted right there. If you had a little crack or whatever, you got leaves, maybe dirt, who knows, getting in there, sitting in there, and then water running down, it just makes a little swamp in there, and then um, it just eats away. So, I mean, that's bad. So I'll cut all that out, patch that, make it look good. Then I'll build my rock sliders. I don't think I'm going to buy them. I'm just going to build them. should be cheaper that way. Um, plus, I can make them my own. So, yeah, that'll cover that up. That'll be real sweet looking. Um, did another rock light up under the bumper. So I have one driver's side, one passenger side, one under the front bumper. Um, those are all powered by, including the light bar. Those are all powered by this aux beam switch right here. I love this thing. It's super cool. I think I got it for like 140 bucks off Amazon. This is a six gang. They do make an eight gang, but the six gang fit in this alcove better for me. So that's what I decided to get. Everything's wired to this switch. Obviously I only have three, um, three spaces in use right now. It's light bar, rock lights, pretty sweet. I really like it. Wired my interior lights to here because it did not have any when I got it. So that was just the easiest way to do it for me. And I wired it to my dash lights, not my headlights, just my dash lights. That way I don't need the key to run it and it's not always taking power if there's some type of power pull. I'm not an electrician, 
more mechanically inclined. So there's probably better ways to do it. That's the way I did it. Um, yeah, once I get those brake lines, they're on order. Maybe I'll make a video of those installing. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, go and like, subscribe if you want. I don't care. Um, if you don't like it, tell me what I did wrong. Be nice. I'm new to this. So thanks for watching, guys.